what's good so everybody's really here jay it has been a good five almost six months since i posted the last outer banks video and i get it like that's on me y'all want to know the truth i'm gonna tell you the truth i'm gonna tell you the truth the truth is when we did outer banks i was posting them back to back to back to back to back to back to back i was thoroughly enjoying the show but i just got so burnt out i got burnt out of editing i got burnt out with editing the show i finished the show in june i just haven't edited the videos but we are here with the full season for anyone who didn't go to patreon and watch episodes here is the full season three of outer banks let me just say one thing if you like big john if big john's your favorite character don't watch this video warning from the very beginning here we go it was always kooks and pokes yeah i remember that i remember those fights i remember those moments some people make the best of it pope's sweet dad i love pope's dad was the treasure an escape or was it a trap why are we trying to make this so deep? <laughs> but okay, go off. Oh my god, so y'all just gonna settle on some random part of the beach? Like, is this place not inhabited by anyone? Is it a deserted island? I don't get it. I mean, look around. We got everything we need. Right here. Except for AC. I couldn't do it, I'm sorry. So you telling me you had your own house, your own room, and they was gonna give you money to rebook? I like this. I like these two. They're cute. So you just... Throw it away to chase treasure. It wasn't just about the treasure. That cross belongs to my family. It's important to me. Pope's little whole attachment to the cross. I get it, but it's like, sir, you ditched the scholarship before you even knew about the cross. It's, it's, it's not your dad. It's not your brother, okay? Oh, she's scared. No, I'm sure. So does she think her brother and dad are just gonna go like scour the ocean in every deserted island to find her? You could do it all again. What would you do different? Get the gold out before Ward did? Not yell murder Ward. Maybe. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I'm glad we addressed that. <laughs> I'm glad we addressed that. Sarah, wake up. There's a plane. So what is Sarah going to do? She can't go back home. Like, it's just not a, a place for her. Like, that's just not where she can be. Ward and Rafe have physically tried to kill her. We can't trust Rose, and Wheezy is a child. <laughs> so what's she gonna do, be an orphan? I guess she'll live like John B and JJ. Hey! Move over here! Hey! Why do people scream? I feel like screaming is wasting your energy. He sees us. Yay, we're rescued, hopefully. What if this is war? <laughs> JJ, you can stay. You don't have to. You don't have to leave with us. You can stay. Like no one's forcing you. We did it! Oh, man. Can it carry all of us though? Are we sure this plane can carry all of us? Two things you need on a deserted island. You think he works for you? Don't? I don't trust him. Ain't coming. Bro, hey. I'm sorry. I don't trust this guy. Not because I think he works for war, but you guys think about what the heck? He's so unserious. Like, what do you mean? Are we suspicious right, of him? It's a little spicy on takeoff. Are we suspicious of him or not? I'm not suspicious of him. I'm just worried. Like, we could die. I don't trust him, man. Who gave him his flying license? Like, <laughs> I need to know. Whose house is this? Guadalupe. Oh, of course. And don't worry, in the meantime, I'm already taking care of business. <laughs> Who is this? What the frig? Rafe changes his hairstyle every season. At first, he used to rock the slick back. Last season, it was Leonardo DiCaprio. Little... Young Leo, this season is the buzz, 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 buzz. I've never been west. Ooh, sir, fly the plane, fly the idiot. Plane. No one cares about the book. You can have the book, idiot. You're literally gonna kill us all. What's the big deal about the book that you're literally about to risk your own life? How much is War paying you? I'm pretty sure he's paying you to bring Sarah back unharmed. Or maybe harms. I don't know. We don't know the word. What else nice of her? Oh, shoot. He just got captured. <laughs> what? He has a client in Barbados who will be interested. Of course. I haven't seen my family in I don't know how long. They're probably worried sick about me. 
They're for sure worried sick. This is a human trafficking organization. I know it. They're trying. But why would the human traffickers, they wouldn't just be out in the open. Is this the people who's going to buy the cross? This is the person who's going to buy the cross, right? Yeah, he likes ancient artifacts. Who are you working for? Dinner at the eight. I had to clean up. Oh, we get dinner? Just tell me what they want. Well, that's nice. My bad. Own room, dinner, AC. They haven't killed me yet, so things aren't looking terrible. What the heck? No, it's like y'all planned exactly for her to get here. What do you mean, pick your size? Pogue show up, I'm just gonna handle it. You'll handle it? When have you ever handled anything <laughs> for us? <laughs> right. When have you ever handled anything, bro? And when dad wakes up, okay. he's gonna see that I took care of it. Not you. You wanna... Uh, he wants his dad's approval way too much. He's like, at the end of all this, he just wants his dad to pat him on the head and tell him good boy. Like, please, like you're like your father's dog at this point. Dad is going to see that I did it and not you. Oh my gosh, he just wants a pat on the head and like that's what makes it worse. I used to bring him home with the bills. Bring him home with the bills? What the heck? It's like he's an animal. Whoa. Yo. Crabs? Get off. Get off. Oh my goodness. Y'all hear that sound effect? That little. That's like a cartoon sound effect. That is not what crabs sound like. Y'all could have did without that. I'm sorry. What? Hey. What's Box Hall? You really don't want to go there, man. That's where he is. Hey, I didn't tell you shit, okay? Remember that. No, but we gonna name Portis. It was Portis. Yep. Looks like you're in trouble, Portis. Just on the other side of that wall. But take it from me. He's no one you want to get to know. Give us a ride. We all can squeeze in. What? What is this suspenseful music? <laughs> this could be a horror, a horror show. Oh, key. Okay, girly. Excuse me. Rave? What are you talking about? What are you? Weasel in my deal right now? Is that what's going what? on? No, what I wonder that if Sir? a little reunion would cause sparks, you know. And how do you know us? How do you know about that we know each other? My name is Carlos Singh. Come now. I don't bite. So what's this guy want? And what's he up to? Much, much bigger than the cross by artists of money. You trying to find El Dorado? El Dorado. And for the next 450 years, people tried to find that gold, you know. Perhaps the greatest quest in the history of the Western Hemisphere, you know. <laughs> Ray said, I came here to sell the gold, to sell the cross. Why well, don't care about your little story? But like, a uh, El Dorado storyline? Is that what we're doing? An old manuscript. A diary, actually. How do you know that, though? Like, how do you know we have a diary? Like, how do you know any of this? How do you know us? I don't know anything about a diary, okay? So, do I look like a fool to you, Mr. Cameron? You look like you're missing some information. He literally doesn't know about the diary. You have the cross. He didn't find anything. We found everything. He just stole it from us. Once I have the diary, you'll be free to leave. Just give this man his diary. We don't care. Like, at this point, I literally don't care. You can have a diary. You can have whatever you want. We don't got the cross. We don't got the gold. Uh, like, I don't even want to cut. I'm just trying to get back home. Like, are we really going to keep the diary from him? For what? He wants to go on a freaking wild goose hunt to find the lost city of El Dorado. Let him. If they don't give this man the diary, I don't see why they wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know why y'all thought that was gonna work. Why y'all thought like y'all y'all can sneak around and infiltrate? Grounds during your stay. You have one day. This is an interesting duel. Rafe and Kiara. I think you'll enjoy it, you know. Rafe is tall. Was he always that tall or is that guy just short? You just done talking? <laughs> hey! I'm locked in a room with Rafe? Absolutely not. I know him. It's Jimmy Bordis. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh my gosh, Jimmy. We didn't see it happen. Okay, do you have it? Key. He caught her key? No. Are they that close? Did he get to use her nickname? Hmm. I don't know, because I don't have much thoughts yet. I think it's kind of interesting that we're going in an El Dorado route. We'll see where the season brings us. You can stay here. It's an old hotel. Terrence and I squatted here before. This girl has been all over the Caribbean at this point. Does anyone have anything? 
JJ's asking other people for like plan advice. He really has no ideas then. JJ plans may be crazy, but at least he ever, he comes up with plans, you know? When JJ doesn't have an idea, we're stuck. Do we have to sleep in the same? Okay. Yeah, he's on the floor. Good good boy. Good boy. No, Kiara, she made him sleep on the floor. <laughs> oh, that, nice pajamas. Silk. Oh, girl. I was going to say that's better than anything you wore, but she's a kook. Oh, she has kook money. I'm the only friend you got. <laughs> it's funny. He came here to make a deal about the cross or whatever, and he's locked. <laughs> so I locked him up. To my connection at the police department. They said... Why don't I care about John B? Like, I don't care about this woman. We know that. But I really don't care about John B either. You're supposed to be dead, okay? They called him John B. I meant Big John. There he is. Kingfish. And we in business. Alright. Phase two. <laughs> now he has his plan. Not phase two. Relax. Nothing's gonna happen to you, you know. You're cooperating. And I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable, you know. I'm literally a house a hostage. I'm held hostage in your house. Me feeling uncomfortable like we're past that. You know, I need some collateral. Rafe's here. Keep him. Rafe. <laughs> He knows y'all don't care about each other. Amazing. A text from our friend Jimmy Portis. Mr. Portis has captured your friends. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got these two. Oh, these idiots. He's texting. He's texting. Oh He's my. Texting. Really? I thought we were just going to ask him for Kiara. And I'm sending my men. They'll be there in 10 minutes to pick you up. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about that one. First of all, the entire the entire plan is already up in flames. Did you turn off your location? Because y'all are idiots. We're gonna booby trap this shit. Girl, this is not home alone. You're gonna have to talk to me at some point, okay? Do I have to remind you of everything you've done? Peter can leave. I was protecting my father, okay? So don't. Don't. <laughs> He's such a little brat sometimes. I'm as much a victim as she is. Oh my gosh, here he go. Think about it. Okay. No. What did I get from shooting Peter Kid? Huh? Nothing. Okay? I had nothing against her. I mean, I... I I'm not. I'm, I I'm not. I'm not going to. What is this victim mentality? I'm a victim, all right? I am. You're not. What I tried to do to Sarah, I admit that was wrong. I know that, all right? So <laughs> you don't have to remind me. Oh, my gosh. No. Oh, my gosh. Right, like I just lose control in, in moments like that, and I don't know what happened. I just I'm trying. Sometimes I wish that he was just completely crazy. That way I didn't have to feel bad for him. I got a boat that can get us off island, but first we gotta get out of here. The fact that he refuses to take responsibility and admit that killing Peter again to save his father or whatever, it was just not the right thing to do. First of all, his father wasn't in danger. He was gonna get arrested, which is what he deserved. I just don't care about Big John. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do we bring him back? Like, for what? Every scene with Big John, every scene with that lady, the blonde lady, they're just so dull and boring. Like, I don't, I couldn't care less. Why are they even a part of the plot? Like, we have enough going on. Oh, shit. Okay, let's see what these booby traps are. Maybe they'll work. Okay. Oh. I think it's time for y'all freeze. Time up. Okay. But there have to be more people coming, right? John Booker Rutledge. We have your men tied up and... He don't care about the men. Kill them. Right. What? Knew it. Either that or he knows you're bluffy. The hotel is surrounded, you know. All you inside will die. That's what I'm saying. I knew they had way more. We could have spent that time running away. The time we spent setting booby traps. Why did y'all think that, like, y'all could, like, win this? <laughs> JJ just wastes bullets. He just loves wasting bullets, sir. Get away from me! Get away from me! I'm gonna kill you, kid! Rafe is so good at saying he's gonna kill someone or attempting to kill someone. It sounds believable. Don't make a sound. Honestly, in a situation like this, Rafe is the best partner. Just saying. Hey, Dad, you, you hear that, right? Church bells? Bells? My dad used to use them to call me home. But that don't mean that's what's happening right now. Even though it's what's happening right now, it's like anyone could be ringing that bell. You're supposed to be dead. I'm not falling for this, bro. I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you. You're dead. I know your friends are on the island. I'm not helping them. 
All right, I can't trust them, okay? I'll give you a ride out, not them. Okay? I mean, fair. They wouldn't trust you. I mean, I always liked you, Key. You're at least half kook. <laughs> All right, Lyra. You have to believe in miracles, John. <sighs> you want them to happen. I just don't care about Limbry. Who? <laughs> <laughs> that I'll find you. Oh my gosh, what is he gonna do? You're done. Not you're done. You're done. He likes you, but now you're done. Better to stay hidden in case he needs help. JJ, will JJ ever shoot anyone with that gun? Will he ever shoot anyone with that gun, or is it just for bluffing and threatening? Dang. <laughs> This man look like that's the love of his life just now. I didn't think I'd see you ever again. Yeah, but I'm here now, okay? Oh. I'm so whatever. John B, go back if you want to. I don't even care. At this point, I'm over it. Gotta strengthen your reflexes. Come on, guys. Gotta go. I feel like my reflexes are already sharp. They're cute. Right. They're cuter than Key and JJ. I'm sorry. That's exactly what my dad would do to call me home. Sarah, that that pattern, those bells. Okay, that pattern? I know it yeah. It, that's, it's really weird. Okay, but when I was trying to convince you, when you, when you thought war was popping up every five seconds, I mean, well, he didn't believe her either, so I guess whatever. Hey, John B, what are you doing? I'll be right back. Where you? I'll be right back. What? We literally need to go. My dad always told me that clouds have silver linings. Is this an unpopular opinion? Like, do y'all care that Big John's back? You know what I mean? Like, I don't care. I don't care about this. Guys, y'all didn't see what I saw. He killed Portis. We can't stay here. But we're not leaving John no, He literally has to go to the other side of the freaking whatever. Go. Yeah, let's leave. He'd be fine. He'd be fine. We literally can't stay here. He hasn't even got to his dad yet. He's not even on his way back. He's not even close. What do you mean he said he'd be back by now? No, he didn't. He has to prepare himself, prepare his mind, just in case this is all. <laughs> right, just in case this is like, you know, I was tripping or whatever. Good episode. I hope we're getting back to Outer Banks after this. I'm pretty sure Big John, well, hopefully, Big John's gonna take him back to Outer Banks. Rafe, I don't know how he's getting back. Um, I don't know how Rafe's gonna get back, but whatever. My mother left when I was three. Uh oh. It was just me and my pops. You get in that van, you, you don't come back, boy. You don't come back, you hear me? It's weird seeing John be, be like a little teenager like that when he's a grown man. It's another thing to never get to say goodbye. If John B die, I mean, if Big John, listen, if Big John dies, like, what was the point of making him back? You better stay alive to the end of the show. You better hurry up before he leaves. Come on. Come on up. Long, bird. I've been ringing for hours. Please, you look. I even showed up. You supposed to be dead. What took you so long to come? Uh, contact me. Oh, I guess this is a nice little moment or whatever. Sorry for the Houdini act. It's a long story. Yeah, let's hear it. And make it short, though. So you've been alive this whole time, and you didn't think to call me. He's got right. Too. We'll put you in danger. Yeah, well, I was in danger How? the entire time you were gone. Exactly. Okay, look, I'm here now. Okay. I don't want to hear that we're here now. I want an explanation. I was literally in jail. In jail, straight in the Bahamas, running for my life from war. We should never left him, all right? We're turning right back around. No, we all gonna get caught. I understand, JJ, what like, plan is that? It's a plan. we really just left him. Like, we just dipped on this man. Okay, plan B, we take my boat. It's back at my place. We gotta pick something up there anyway. Why didn't we go there in the first place? Why the heck did we go there in the first place? If you had a place in a boat. So hunting, huh, Pop? I'm breathing, I'm hunting, man. What can I say? Getting close. I can feel it. Onto something big. Oh my gosh, really? I'm over you at this point. Really? Somebody died out there. It wasn't me. Going on a little retrieval mission. I'm tired of you. Game is afoot, okay, kid? At this point, you could have left me alone. You still out here hunting treasure? Come back home. At this point, bye. I don't even care. Focus. We gotta go. We gotta go. All right, we're good. We're going back. But, like, the fact that this man has not given up hunting, you've been missing for a year. Do you know the half of the stuff I went through? And you still out here hunting. I would have been done with him. <laughs> you could have left me alone. You didn't come back so you can be a father. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry to bother you. Um, 
I have the perfect, I have the perfect gift for your wife. Yeah, it's like a great price to here. What are you about to do? Jump him and take his clothes? Okay, as a tourist, I'm not trusting anyone. You took his hat? <laughs> What? Well, he's smart. But like, what happened to that poor man? You know whatever happens, we're gonna handle it together. Like we always do. I can't be happy about this because y'all have been bombarding my comment section. Spoiling me left and right. Oh, JJ and Key. JJ and Key, I can't wait for you to see JJ and Key. It is like, it wasn't a natural build up like, <gasps> I can't believe this is happening. It was like, okay, I'm expecting it to happen type thing. Do you want? <clears throat> oh. Sorry for the strong. Big job. Yeah. Next stop, El Dorado. Yeah, if you can find the other half. And if you can decipher it, maybe. <laughs> I just cannot believe we're doing an El Dorado storyline. I just never would have thought that that's what we would be. Season one, I never think that we would be like on our way to El Dorado. I don't know where they are. Now, Wally let this old man do this. John B. should have went back in there. Hey, Pope. Pope, look, man. I know you think you saw something up here. Or maybe you did see something. Wait. Straight up. Nothing Wait. actually happened. What? I'm Pope saw lying. something? Pope. When? I missed it? Well, then who's lying right now? <laughs> asking me if I like it? Yeah. No. What? It's not my favorite thing ever. I'm not going to stop you. Your choice. <laughs> I forgot that. See, listen, I don't acknowledge what Pope and Key had. So I for, I didn't realize that it would be a big deal. Key, I mean, Pope, you Key was not that girl for you. Like, I'm sorry. So as soon as I got a chance, I took it. I got roughed up by Sing's men, but I made it out. You made it out? Come on, Gray Pipe. Look, I ain't got nothing, okay? What do you think? Drop the attitude. Excuse me. This thing? Oh this my goodness. Yo, man, you trying to sell my man by mangoes? <laughs> this mangoes was just fit, man. Po! I'm still running your back dirt on a t-shirt. Okay, Po! That was good enough for me. We should start a club. Call it the No Love Club. What? Nah. I guess we gotta come up with a handshake, right? That's true. I'll show you. They're cute, but they would be cute. They would be cute friends also, like. No chance. Like, if they were just besties, they'd be cute either way. You won't hear me cute what the heck what is going on <laughs> what is going on okay the soundtrack is eating this season did they just put like most of the budget into getting like good music or what <sighs> this season feels different than other seasons i don't know there's a there's a different feeling in the air that's where all the gold came from and this stone piece supposedly what led them to Eldorado. So are we saying the gold on the royal merchant and the cross came from El Dorado? This is the big one, kid. There's this mysterious this vibe. Mystery. This mysterious kind of like aura. They ain't finding it. It's because of Big John. He's bringing this mystery energy. This season feels different, <laughs> right? Like, we're just out on the seas as a freaking whale. Like, what the heck? <laughs> This season just feels so different. Like this whole entire scene just feels different from anything we've seen. In season one and two. Maybe when we get back to Outer Banks, it'll start feeling more like Outer Banks. Yeah, I went fine. down and you stepped up. I'm just glad you're okay. You understand? Right. Why is that never enough for him? You're not the worst father ever. <laughs> oh shit, Sherlock. Right. We have JJ's dad around, Ward lurking. Yeah. I know you know. Is this a dream? I'm like. And, and he's here right now. Look. I'm not about to sit here and play no games with y'all. This was not all a hallucination. Big John is so annoying, bro. At this point, Big John better show me something because he is about to get added on to the list along with War and along with JJ's dad. I try to vouch for him, you know what I'm saying? Say that he's not as bad. No. No, no, this can't be the diary. I'm glad it's diary because you need to get over your little hunting treasure dream and go be a father. This man got up in the middle. It's not even, it's hardly even sunrise. 
to go find this diary. Mm. It's poppy for gut health. Root beer flavor is 5 out of 10. Hello, Sarah. Your dad's a bum. Uh, Where the hell did you go? Where do you think he went? Think about it for two seconds. <laughs> come on, son. It's a day of celebration. Don't come on, son, me. Where did you go? Speak up. Yeah. This man probably would have got that diary and dipped again. Later, John B. Bye, Judge. Girl, you don't look at who's at the door. There's no way they're sending her to boarding school now. They just got her back. Aw, JJ has no one to go back to. Oh, dang, he has no place to live now. Eviction notice, though. Who owns this place? It's a dump. But then again, it's a dump because they allowed it to get like this. Girl, at least stand up. You're sneaking out again? He's a bum. Oh, he went and got the van. I'm still over him and he's still a bum. I like got another idea, plan B. Plan B. Which is in glory, come plan on. B. Okay, let's go. Okay. It's like this man has nothing else to live for, which is odd because he has a son. Oh, look at that, nobody's home. We should probably get out of here. Do not break in. Hey, Are you gonna break in? Fun. Look around, say. No, you're too old to be having fun like this. You're not 16. You're 54. The way you're acting is the way a person acts when they don't have children or responsibilities. Ooh. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Well. All right, come on then. Hurry up, Johnny. We're gonna lose him. You need to calm down. Calm down, dang. Come on, John Bean, let's go, let's go. Like, sir, you're about to have a heart attack, please. Stop. Dangerous. What are we doing, Dad? Just keep going. Ugh. I'm over Big John. I was over him when I saw him at the end of last season, at this point. Like, were we supposed to be excited that he's back? No. All the events that happened, well, majority of them, was because this man was supposed to be dead, and now he's just back. Just erased the entire plot, honestly. Or the point of it. Ooh. Big John out here about to get his son killed. So your dad is a murderer now. All this for some gold? Like, you need to stop. You're more dangerous than war. Somewhat. Y'all are wedding what? Just because he looks like he's nice and whatever, they're the same person. Willing to kill for this gold. They're the same person, aren't they? They're the same person. Going crazy, obsessing over this gold and taking lives because of it. Bro, your dad's no better than Ward. If anything, he's worse because he's bummy. At least Ward did what he could to keep his family together. You know what I'm saying? He kidnapped Sarah. I guess you can call it kidnapping. He at least tries to keep the family together. You dipped on your son for months to protect him from what? All you did was put him in more danger. I'm tired of him. There's nothing that makes War different from Big John. He faked his death. War did that also. He's alive. Seriously? Bro, he's not a good dad just because he's Big John. I mean, just because he's John B's dad, bro. Jage, what's up? Girl, since when do you start calling him Jage? <laughs> I don't like it. It was just weird. What almost happened on the boat with us? Weird. Is it weird? You've had a crush on her since the first season. Shit, I don't even got parents right now. Why would you care? Like, like, like I'm just some loser. JJ? Fucking... Come on. Y'all been friends for so long. She cares about you. What do you mean? I'll help. It's that right there, okay? Like, it's so easy for you to say that. Because you're a kook. You're a kook, Kiara. Dang. I'm living in a cave with you for a month, soaking in the kook like. It's not what I'm talking about, God. I get what he means. Like, even if you come live the pole life with us, you could easily return to your nice life in Kooklandia. You know, your parents gonna always look out for you. You always got a place to come back to. He doesn't have that. I feel so bad for JJ, bro. JJ's actually better than a lot of people. Cause this man in his situation, so many people, they'll start training to, they'll start selling drugs and doing all type of stuff. He's just, you know, Trying to make it through in the most honest way he can. 
like only thing I can give Big John that's better than Ward, the only one up he gets is that he hasn't tried to kill his son. Now, when Big John tries to kill John B, man, I hate their names. When Big John tries to kill John B, then we can talk. Then they're on the same level, exactly. I'll find a museum. It'll be a gift from us and the whole family. What about Rafe? So he wants to get rid of the cross. So we did all this nonsense. We chased the cross. We had to fight Rafe for it. We ended up in Barbados or whatever we ended up at. Just so war can do with the cross what we were already planning on doing. This is something that I got through my work and now you're trying to make yourself feel better by giving away my shit? I love how Rafe treats this cross as his business deal. But of course, you can count on me. Okay, so listen. Well, one day, maybe. You'll stop trying to please your dad. So there's one bathroom, which means we'll probably have to share. But it's all good, because I take quick showers. Um, this is my room, which is now your room. Oh, he's so gentlemanly. Giving him her room, giving her him room, giving her his room. Ugh. I forgot. I forgot about this. Who is this? Oh, of course. Hey, Dad. Barry! Look at the country club walking. Did Barry cut his hair also? Yeah, both decided to get haircuts for the new season. It's all good. I'm ready to get past as you are. <laughs> These two. They're the best duo on the show. I can't deny they're funny together. <laughs> well, you know, one thing, one thing is if you screw me like that, I'll I'll come after you. Okay. I mean, I'm offering you a job and it's high risk, it's high reward. Rafe thinks he's so high and mighty. I'm offering you a job. Like, sir, please. You were just in my shack of a house crying. Could you kill somebody? Please stop. And if we're doing this, <clears throat> it will behoove you not to be seen talking to me. You got my check. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Why is that like a boss move? He got my check. <laughs> Yo. Hey, Jage. Since when did you start calling him that? Hold on them first. It would have taken him to sing. It would have done the same thing to us. It was us on. That guy was going to shoot you, okay? This is all your fault, bro. This is literally because you decided to come out here and do all this stuff. No one would have tried to kill him. But you out here chasing treasure. And we got work to do. You got work to do. I don't care about this. Like, I don't want to do it. Like, I don't care. Yeah, boy. I am so over him, bro. He's getting on my nerves. He's annoying. Dragging this man around. Look for treasure, killing people, getting him almost shot at. And for what? I hope he doesn't find his treasure. Like, I hope he doesn't. I said that I didn't want Big John to die. I changed my mind. If he happens to die, whatever. <laughs> I don't care anymore. The teens were down in the Caribbean with another killed. Caribbean? That's how y'all say it, Caribbean or Caribbean? And sound on Kildare Island and <laughs> of course. Rutledge. Of course, Top. Sarah, she's there. Topper should have got a haircut also. And it's being shipped by train to Raleigh from there, but this is this is our chance to get it back. The problem is they have the Twinkie. Our transportation. None of us have cars. Doing what we say we're gonna do. Keeping our promises. Exceeding expectations. I like you that. Understand that. Yep. Keeping our promises, exceeding expectations. I like this household. And I won't ask you for anything else. And I promise you. Cleo, girl, you don't have to always play with that knife, girly. You on board with this? Gotta strike when the iron's hot, Mr. Get out <laughs> Right. Thank you so much. Yeah, I promise I'll let you down. Well, it should be an old church with a graveyard. Big John, did you change your clothes? I feel like you haven't had a bath since we got back from the Caribbean. Yeah, I'll be damned you are good for something, son. Charleston. Really? That's what you have to say to him? You are good for something? Remember when I cracked your coat and actually found the gold? What you're telling me that you found? We found it, and then Rafe and Ward stole it from us. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ward, Ward is dead. not dead. Okay. We've been over this. Oh my gosh. First of all, follow, right? it's hard to follow, but also, I disappeared. Everyone thought I was dead. Let's just try to think. At least she's telling her parents. I applaud her for telling them, but I need them to grow some brain cells, please. It is not that hard to believe that Ward is alive. I think that you've been led astray, Kiara, and you. By who? No, 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 My let's get this out. You're only defensive? You're this hot style with him because what? He's a, a poke? Because I was once just like you, bro. You don't I didn't know think me. That anything mattered. You don't know me. These pokes 
has ruined my daughter's life. The dad can go for real. I'm protecting my daughter. Can we and please? Wait a second. This was not even a situation for that. Like you bringing this type of energy for what? Just like his father. Just like his father, really? He's nothing like his dad. Thank you. I wouldn't. I'm at, well. Is that Topper? I bet you Topper has a way to transport the cross. Why don't you just take one for the team? Right. What would Sean B say? Take one for the team. Temporarily acquire an object that has no value for her and is essential for us. Hey, there she is. It's game time, kid. I am so tired of Big John, bro. Hey, you gotta let that thing go out there and see, kid. I'm not gonna let it go if you're about to do the same thing. Oh, me? You want me to go? Your son? You want me to go and hold up that old lady? Yes, that's right. I assure you, once we get to Orinoco, it will get harder. This is your fight. I don't want to do this. Yeah. Oh, I'm so tired of these. I'm so tired of these. I mean, I, John B is not as bad as Rafe in terms of trying to please his father, but I'm tired of their dads manipulating him. You really going to force your son to do this? Don't do it, bro. What are you doing? Like, this is crazy. Please. He's so irresponsible. Who does this? You're about the most pitiful excuse for a thief I've ever seen in my life. You need to be ashamed of yourself. Bro, go punch him in his face. This is so annoying, really? Don't look at me crazy. Everyone's father is toxic in this show. Kiara's, John B's, JJ, Rafe's, or oh, Sarah. Did I miss anyone? Except for Sweet Pope's dad. Pope's sweet dad. I know I said I would do anything, but... I'm so sorry about everything. I hate this. I know I said take one for the team, and I agreed, but I don't like it anymore. Why do I feel like I'm gonna regret this? But he's an idiot. It's gonna be all right, it's gonna be all right. Topper is not used to this. This is not his way of life. Oh, they have to, do they have the subway surfers it? Jump across the trains or whatever? Close to being okay with this. Okay. Jumper cams, what are we, do what are we doing with these? Top Illegal activities. Come on, Dad, no, stop. <laughs> Hey, 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 it's okay. You're making a fool of yourself. You are too big to be doing this. It's over. Good. Now go home. This man made treasure hunting his life's work. Go be a history teacher. There are so much disappointments, you know? I do not care. Please. Hey, Dad, we missed You can miss me with that. Yeah, Dad, like we actually missed a box. Man over here crying. A rock? Grow up. Not you crying. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> like, okay, but I really hope he doesn't get this goat. Like, I want us to get the goat because I want it for, like, JJ. And it'd be nice for John B. and the Pogues to get it. But not, not Big John. Big John deserves no gold. Dad, where's the car? Dad. Somebody must have stolen it. Dad, what? Oh, boy. Looks like her. Really? Father. That's what I said. I said this like season one. Y'all couldn't hide from nobody because everybody didn't know about that raggedy van that John B drives around in. Stay right oh, there. Shit. Hey, what are you doing here? So I'm so sorry. It's not what There's no explanation for this. We're, we're in love. That's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to get married. And we can't do that here. We're going to find a priest who will, who will marry us. And we just want to start a life together. Go. Thank you. Yeah. Sir, what's your name? It's Jimmy. It's going to be our first child's name, Jimmy. Okay, Pope, you're pushing it now. How's it looking? Still searching. I want Topper to find a new, a new girlfriend. Can he actually be a good boyfriend? He's just so obsessed with Sarah. This is the cross. This is it. Hey, what are we doing here? And where is Barry? He's supposed to be stealing it. Just help us spot it. I got you. Topper, this man is so whipped, bro. Hey, you dropped him. Oh. Oh. No. Sarah, how the hell can you live like this? You come from a good family. Right. Honestly, I can feel the chopper on this one. Forget the good family part. Just uh, how could you live like this? I'm not going to jail for y'all. No chance. Stop the trap. Please. All right. Topper, you did not have to do that. You did enough, bro. They're going to arrest him. We can't leave him behind. Damn it. Topper. You didn't have to go back. If you get arrested, it's your fault. Stop listening to Sarah. Go faster. I'm trying. You need to go faster. Can you shut up and let me drive? You're alive. <coughs> oh my God. All right, can we go? I really thought you did it this time, dude. 
Cage. So we all just call him Jage? I don't remember that. <sighs> this is a fake, this is fake, right? I'm sorry, I tune out every time Big John talks. He said something about a hoax. Oh You guys, 65. Yeah, and you lost the cross, obviously. Topper, ditch these guys. Whose side am I on? It's not that I'm on Topper's side. I just hate this. Was that not the cross? Rafe already stole it. <laughs> we did all of that for no reason. Of course, you're still fake. Topper. Get away from these guys. They're gonna drag you down, bro. Dog, would you relax? They're not gonna think some dude in flip-flops is a part of a robbery, okay? Oh. All right, well, bye. Can we hurry up? I'm sorry, if I was Topper, like, yeah, I did this for Sarah, but all this other stuff, I didn't sign up for, I'm leaving. I don't care. Y'all are not my friends anyways. This is straight out of the Pope's vault, bro. Dang, they already yeah. stole it. I mean, this is straight out of church, bro. These idiots, bro, the, between these two idiots, they should not be getting the jump on us this much. We have all these minds working together and we can't even steal one cross. I, I, I'd, pay, I'd pay half the value of this just to see the look on their faces when they open the box. <laughs> yeah, they were surprised. Man, that was a beautiful cross. All the jewels and you know, whatnot. Know, that's for sure. Oh, I hate this. You know what I want for Rafe's character? I really hope they don't leave Rafe's character like this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want him, I don't want them to leave his character like this. That's what I'm saying. The soundtrack this season has been different. When I was a kid, my father was always talking about the epic quests. But there was something about those adventures he didn't tell me. I'm so over Big John. It's not all victory parades and gold loot. Sometimes it's murder and death. We can't tell your friends. No, come on. Dad, they're just as much a part of this as you are. I'm so over him. So that's the gold cross and now El Dorado. Three for three, guys. So now, not only are we killing people, now I have to lie to my friends, you idiot. I'm so tired of Big John, bro. Like, why are you back? You could've stayed gone. You did not need my help for none of this. John B would have been perfectly fine if he got on that boat with them and came back, but he wanted to ring them bells. If there's anything that you can't tell the others, you can tell me. Right, that's your wife. He said, don't tell your friends, not your wife. My dad came back and he's trying to help all of us. Uh -huh. And meanwhile, your dad tried to kill you. Why are you so defensive? You She's literally just asking a question. Am I wrong? Yes, you're wrong for acting this way. Well, then call me when you want to tell the truth. Or don't at all. <sighs> He's so raggedy and dusty. Go take a shower. Go take a bath. Cut your hair. Cut that beard off. Look presentable. Your quest is calling. I'm so over him. It did not arrive. Somebody stole the cross. Oh, my God. Wait, who stole it? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm thinking maybe I should stay down here for a while, you know, to really grow the company. I think it'd be good for us, right? I think this would be good for Rafe. Stop listening to his dad. You listen, okay? Right. <laughs> you listening? <laughs> then what? You gonna hop on a plane? Come down here? This is good. It'll be like a god. This is great. Plane. Ward Cameron, everyone! This is what I wanted. Yes. Not under his father's thumb. Now, what does this mean for his character and his personality and all the other stuff? That don't matter. No charges. But you're dropping a little gangster, JJ. Aren't you? A little gangster JJ. I'm proud of you, Key. This is the first step. You're starting to see more clearly. First step to what? They're acting like she's an addict. This is the first step. Admitting that you have a problem. Admitting that you need to that you need to back away. Listen, Sarah, I'm sorry. You're always welcome here, but come tomorrow. All right? Right now we just need some family time, okay? It's fine. Yeah. Dang, I knew this would happen. I'll probably just head up JJ or something. JJ. I knew this would happen. That's what I was like. What is Sarah gonna do? She only has two options. Go back to John B or go chill with Rafe. I think that maybe Topper. <laughs> topper. Topper is the last call, right? You want those beers right there? You can grab a drink. When all else fails, Never. back to top. I have a, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Who? You have a girlfriend? No, you yeah. don't. Who? You're surprised? Yes. Yeah. Elena. 
Elena. Topper boobs on? No way. This is completely a rebound. Not kills. Surf and sun action, you know, a little fellowship by the break. Come on. <laughs> a little fellowship? <laughs> what? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'd rather live the kook life. They just be chilling in their little boats going fellowship <laughs> by the break. <laughs> kook life or robbing trains getting stuck and stranded on desert islands like i'm sorry the answer is quite clear to me you don't have enough hours to legally advance into the next school year Ooh, they got even if you pass all the he's classes. being held back these are our lower level classes yes because the spots in the higher level classes are taken up by students who didn't miss half the it semester. wasn't my fault though i mean it was kind of oh. there well it was kind of your fault you got to get back to being focused Right, Poe, come on. Which one is it? Can't chase gold forever. Actions have consequences, sir. This is literally your fault. You went and, like, this is no one's fault but you. None of these kids really had to do any of this. <laughs> None of them had to do any of this. If you really want to think about it. All right, we need to make a move. That's all we do, bro. We've been making moves. Yeah, well, we don't have much time. It's all we do, bro. We've been making moves. It is always business with Rafe. Like, does this man ever chill? When he's chilling, he's doing drugs or alcohol. So, quit school. What about your scholarship? Quit school. What is? What is your parents going to say about this? Old classes. Look, if I even pass the grade. So you're giving up? That makes no sense, Pope. And do you know why I'm screwed? Because I tried to do the right thing. What's the right thing? This treasure. I tried to you get didn't my have to do that. Back. You didn't have to do that either. Hope he has the cross and he melted it down. For money? God. This is messed up, man. Even for them. Not really. This is right up their alley. They're going to keep doing that shit. They're going to keep winning. I mean, Pope, is that news to you? Pope and Rafe will never, ever, ever see eye to eye. I'm sick of being the good guy. So what are you going to go do? What does that mean? You're quitting school. You're sick of being a good guy. So what are you going to go do? Try to kill them? Sal, here's the foremost expert on pre-Columbian glyphs in at least three states. Bro, the Big John and John B plotline right now is the worst. It's like the least of my interest. I don't care about nothing they're doing. At this point, go do whatever you're going to do, but don't show us. <laughs> I rather just, I want to see what everyone else is doing. I don't care about this. around other people's houses. I'm so tired of John B not being okay with what his dad is doing, but still going along with everything. Dad, hey. Only way out of through, kid. This is a child we're watching. No, until we hit pay dirt. A child in an old man's body, bro. Hello? What are you doing? Sneaking around like this, like. Ah! Ah! What the heck? Hey, hello, bro, what are you doing? What the hell, hey? What are we watching? Hey, uh, sorry about that, Dr. Sal. Bro, come on. Can we go? Is there totally jealous of you? Me? I haven't hated Topper since the first season. They kind of changed his character. Not really. Eat, sleep, shower. The kinda. Just want you to have a fun day. Worry-free zone here, Sarah. Topper is like... He be acting like a guardian sometimes. It's like weird. Either one of y'all moved the pistol from in there. Who? Because it's gone. Pope. Pope, are you serious, bro? Yeah, he's going after Ray. I'll check Tannehill. I get it. This is your family's cross. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. But you also didn't know this cross existed for the first 17 years of your life. You gonna go kill someone because they took a cross that you didn't know about two months ago? Or didn't find out about two months ago? Whatever. It's not even worth it. He's being stupid. <sighs> oh, Tommy. You remember why I ended up. Big hey, John, get out of my house, bro. Hey, what's inside? Hey, hey. Bro, Big John is the type of person. I'll tell you. Just sit down. Like, can you chill and get out of my house, bro? You lucky I ain't got no gun. I ain't tell you nothing. Big John is this type of person, like, he's so far no deep into this. What? He's so far deep into this that, like, if part of getting the goal was meaning means he had to sacrifice his son in some crazy ritual, he'd do it. If anything happens to him, it's your fault. Topper, you need to move on. This is not happening. Sarah, I, I did things that I regret. Like when you called her a, a whore, right? Or was it a slut? At the end of the day, I just want you to be happy. Topper 
Sarah, he's so different than he was first season. But it's only with Sarah though, you know what I mean? He's only really cute with her. Why is she looking like that? Oh my goodness. I didn't want to say it. I was going to say, I wonder if she's going to kiss him. Yeah, 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 yeah. It sucks because she keeps going back to Topper. Like, if I was John B, I'd be thinking, like, you, every second you get, you go back to your ex, bro. <laughs> We're married. We're married. Why are you kissing someone else? I mean, is that different for Sarah's, for Sarah's character? Because when she was dating Topper, she was making out with John B. So, it's on a brand. Pope, you're being ridiculous. I've never seen someone make such stupid choices. I mean, well, there's JJ. We would lose like we always do. Bro, do we really care about someone like Rafe winning or losing? There's too many people out there like him for me to try to take down one of them. I can see if Rafe was like taking everything from his man. I can see if he killed his mom, his dad, he got away with it, you know what I'm saying? I can see if he lost people. He lost the scholarship. That was his fault. And he lost the cross that he didn't know about. I'm sorry, but if I found out that my family had this cross, I may be somewhat, you know, attached to it. But I'm not that attached that I'm going to go ruin my life because someone stole it. <laughs> you know, he had a momentary lapse. Don't tell me you were drunk and you don't remember anything. Who's this? Is it Ward? There's someone he's bold enough to just come out here. Okay. Guess he is. I hope he gets caught. Well, Ward is better than John. Big John, so. Why do people do the things they do? Sarah's doing the monologue? I just thought he was the perfect guy. Sweet, from a good family. But the heart wants what it wants. She wanted the bad boy. Street kid. Now he came from a good family. Do people really consider that? Oh, he comes from a nice prominent family. I wanna take a second. Oh, to Key. Here you go. Have a good day. Girl, Key is so judgmental. I can hang out with Topper. Didn't Topper just help us? You don't even know what's going on first. Okay, so you bring him to the middle of the island restaurant on a Saturday? Key, what's up? All right, yeah, he though. brought me here actually. I have no money. She had, she needed to go somewhere and Topper was the only one available. Now the other stuff after that, maybe we can give her a little side eye. You're tired of living in my shadow? Overstepped. By giving away something of mine, why would I think that? You're right. I should have talked to you before I donated. Him calling it his is crazy. What do you mean some of it? I melted that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> why he say it like that? That's crazy. That was a nice, beautiful yeah, relic. I'm talking now! All right? This isn't about you! We can't stay here, son. No. You can't stay here. No, you can't stay here. Rafe, you better be careful. I, mean, I got a crew here. I, Not I, a I crew? Who's your crew? Rafe needs to be careful, because I just feel like War, listen, War already kicked him out the house once. So he has no problem with, you know, he has this whole family thing, but he also wouldn't mind killing his own daughter. But Rafe War may just go back and say Rafe is the one who killed Sheriff Peterkin. I don't need you anymore. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting us to get here. There's actually nothing you can do about it, okay? When did this shift happen? Did all it take was War? attempting to take what was his for him to not want to please daddy anymore this is the son you raised you put him second too much go home dad and you don't need him anyways go home go to guadalupe like your family's already torn it's already a mess just go chill in guadalupe but freaking war is probably looking at this like after all i did for you <laughs> sarah don't be mad but i ran away i'm in the obx and i have to see you what? How would Wheezy run away? That has to be War. War told her to do that. And you know this guy is good too? Mm-hmm. I mean, we got a lot of people to see today. So oh my gosh. <laughs> Barry, you need to go get you some professional wear so you can match Rafe. At this point, I don't even get mad at Rafe anymore. I just laugh. <laughs> he doesn't really do anything to make me mad anymore. Not like in the first season. And especially this second one. Oh my gosh. Hey, country club, come on, what? Oh my gosh, I can't with these two. <laughs> I really can't with these two. 
bro. It's the only body that we have, Rafe, is Sheriff Pete. And your daddy didn't kill Sheriff Pete, right? right? You did. Right. Hey. That's what I said. Right. Because the only thing standing between the life he used to live and the life he's living now is you, Rafe. Right. Exactly what I said. I would move to get him off the battlefield before he starts squawking. Eventually, this man gonna be like, why am I trying to save my son? He not even listening to me. Hear me. Is I he back at school? This semester. Good boy, Pope. This is for the condo. Um, oh, you bought her a condo? This is some money for you. Period. Got all the money you'll need on it. Did you say sorry for trying to kill her? There's no amount of money that's gonna change, erase that thing that you did. Bless you, baby. Bless you, baby. Oh my gosh. The game plan. Get the girls. Go we'll find Pope and Cleo. Get down to South America as soon as possible. Cool. At this point, I just want to chill, bro. Like, why you you go to South America yourself? Don't put me with the. I can't be a part of this crew. I just want to chill, have a nice chill day. Y'all always running around. Y'all ain't never just like relaxing. Can I just sleep in my bed for a week straight before y'all try to go drag me somewhere? Keep it low key, but no, we're not public. Y'all you know. not anything. What do you mean? What does he mean by that? We're not public. Y'all not dating. He always acts like he's her guardian or something. I don't know. Sir, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I have something I need to tell you. Just spit it out. What's, what's going on, Sarah? I kind of hooked up with Topper. Kind of hooked up? Why didn't you just say kiss? Hooked up could mean so many things. How could you do this? I trusted you. So that's to his part. I mean, well, isn't it what they say? You lose them how you got them. You took her from Topper, and Topper didn't really take her from you, but he's the cause. I mean, you come in here after stealing from my dad. Like, hey, we're all good. Like, let's let's go to South America. You don't have to come. She's gonna ghost us. Jade, I've been wanting to talk. Ghost? To First. You're saying that you don't want to be a part of the plan when Big John is up for execution right now. Yes, cool. bro. That's all I needed to know. That's crazy. I'm not gonna just go to South America because someone's dad is, has been kidnapped, bro. That's not that's not my jurisdiction. That's not what I do. Like I am not an investigator who go and rescue kidnapped people. It's like first of all, as friends, I shouldn't be obligated to have to do such risky type things just to just so we can be considered friends. Oh, I don't freaking drop everything I'm doing to go to South America and all of a sudden we're not friends anymore. He already did the same thing when it came down to Pope that one season. Huh, being part of this friendship is just too much. It's it's too, what's the word? Needy, it's too, it's it's too. Like, I love you, dude. Great, no, look, it's not gonna work. Dang. I'm gonna go help my best friend save his Rejected! <laughs> what? JJ rejected Key? I love that. I love that. She cheated. That's what happened. After everything I've been going through, she's all fucking up with Topper. I mean, she's been going through stuff also. It's not like you're the only one who's going through things. I get it. She didn't have to, you know, hook up with Topper, but still, she's also going through stuff. Have you even asked her how she was doing? She literally has no place to stay. Her brother and her father tried to kill her. Her whole life has been uplifted and just like thrown to the wayside. And all you can think about is your problems with your crazy dad. We're, not doing this. Feel good about We're really not doing this, bro. This is someone's party. Do you feel good about yourself? Do you feel good about your... Uh, okay. Okay. John B, you literally... You, like... It's the same situation. It's the same situation. It's nothing different. Why are you fighting Topper when Sarah is your girlfriend? No hard feelings, bro. <laughs> I hate Topper so much, bro. I already knew it. Really? Topper, don't. Don't hit back. Shooting, no, stop, stop. Really, John B? Hey, get yeah, this is exactly why Kiara's dad don't want Kiara hanging with y'all. Like, really, John B? You're you're losing it, bro. That was uncalled for. Why do people do the things they do? Cheater, bro. That's she is. I the start of y'all relationship was on rocky. Was on a rocky surface, anyways. It's all our old family history. I love that Pope has no part of this. I also apologize. I've never met you, and I'm your father. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's happening in there. We do all agree that, I mean, I guess because they're married now, 
you know, it was a little bit worse than when Sarah cheated on Topper, but it's essentially the same thing. When I kissed John B, I gave up my cook card. Sarah's a little cheater, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is not the first time Wheezy told us to tea. He had a home, and me, I had nothing left. I do feel bad for Sarah. I always have felt bad for Sarah. Born a kook, became a poke. Did that do us part? Why is this so extra? So which am I really? Kook or poke? Y'all know how I feel about the kook versus poke thing. I think it's all ridiculous. All ridiculousness. You actually think he's gonna get arrested? He can't get arrested. Is Topper gonna press charges? What I do know is that I can't just sit by and watch him get arrested while his dad's abducted. Topper's mom probably would because Topper's mom was the one who tried to send Pope to jail. It's just that, that look, that kook look. He was set off. He was set off. I understand. You know, sometimes your anger gets the best of you. Uh-oh. This shoe. Don't start with uh-oh, dude. You're Is he really getting arrested? All right, John B, I know you're in there. Is this really necessary? Topper has done so many things. This has to be his mom. Topper has done like he literally pushed us off of a building and we didn't say anything. What? Oh. A tracker? At this point, I'm tired of John B being chased by the police. I thought we were done with that. I hate those shorts. I will move to get him off the battlefield before he starts squawking. What does that mean? He's not going to try and kill his dad. If you get caught here, it ruins everything. I was right. Okay. Let me just... <laughs> You're on a very bad path, right? Oh, sorry. War, everyone's characters are kind of switching, but it's unwarranted. It's like, I get War kind of changing. Like, he done some things he wasn't proud of. Trying to kill his daughter. That set him on a different route. Okay, that's understandable. Mm. But when did Rafe grow the balls to talk back to his dad? Like, when did that happen? Yeah, Rafe. Your opinion, not mine. Okay, I'm but who does he think he is wearing these glasses these old man glasses like oh he's just he's just calmed down and settled down he's a different person now i just don't i can be reborn after there's some money and a place to stay but... Ooh, he there's no way he's gonna do that come on now and ward knows it the devil's got you son oh my i'm not i'm not about to sit here i'm sorry i'm not about to sit here and play with ward like <laughs> He's found religion and now he's just this saint and oh yes the devil may have rape because there's a lot of things going on with there but we're not gonna exclude we're not gonna act like it's not your fault you still haven't taken responsibility for you allowing your son to get this far we should left him dead the same way we should love john b dead is the same way we should love war dead because what is this you're not reborn you didn't find jesus he has yet to take responsibility for rape talking about some what did he say just now that you're um that you're going down the wrong path who set him down this path you're the main one oh you're the main one calling him up so i need your help come hide the body with me and now all of a sudden you are reborn and you're dead no you're not you can't son we should have kept him dead like we should have kept big john dead he has yet to take responsibility or even try to help Rafe. Especially when Rafe tried to come to him and now all of a sudden it's the devil's got you and blah 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 blah. Some derelict named John B. He hit him and hit him. I knew it was his mom. Oh, I knew his mom was I knew his mom was gonna cut up. You know I could have beat his ass, right? I mean I've done it once. Yeah. But now I look like I couldn't even take the guy, so Is that about that top? <laughs> that, that pride. How about you go in and testify against him? Testify against him? Well, how could you ask for that? Would you do that for me? Top, I'm sorry. I keep pausing it because, okay, it's not confirmed 100% if Topper pushed John B or not. I can't remember if he pushed him or it was an accident. But it doesn't matter. There's been so many fights that we've, we've been through. Literally, I think the first fight we had, you almost tried to kill the guy. And so how are you going to sit here and ask Sarah to testify? Would you come with us and do right by my son? Do right by your son? No, Topper, I'm sorry, bye. Sure. Because why would you ask her that? That's rude. Everyone else was there. You did not have to ask Sarah. Like, she didn't even testify against her own brother. Or, well, she was going to testify against Rafe. I mean, against Ward. But she still, she didn't. <laughs> they gave Ward glasses, and we're just supposed to think that he's changed. He wears glasses now. I prayed you'd come around. Remember 
I am not commenting it on it. I'm not commenting on it anymore. I pray. Oh, you pray? Okay. You two are going to drive the truck up to Elizabeth City to make the drive. There'll be a dummy car for you to use to come back. You can't change the plan like this. I'm sorry, bye. You do this, you get your ride. Yeah, it's just- JJ, not you getting me caught up. I'm sorry, we declined. JJ? Hi, officer. Hey, oh. Really, John B? For the kid, I guess. It was something we did together. Yeah. Him to know that I, that I wasn't nothing. So that's your reasoning for still hunting treasure 50 years later? Your son is a grown man at this point. You're addicted. That's what it is. The only way this thing goes south is my dad. Gary looks cuter with his haircut. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time coming. Oh my gosh. He needs help. Topper's pressing charges. Hold up. For what? For Shoot. Come on now. He was messing with John B's girl, so you would do the same thing. Okay, that's not a valid reason or excuse. This is all wilderness activity stuff. This is what you've been doing. It just has structure and safety to it. This we need there to be a plan in right. place for your safety. That's all. I'm just not into school right now. I get it. A lot. Key has gone through a lot. But, like, the fact that you even have the option to be like, I am not going to school is crazy. You still have that picture you took of Sings, the one of the painting? Yeah, obviously. Where are you going? Uh, to the break. We're going to go check out the surf. Nah, he heard you. Can we finish this later? Have fun. Yeah. See, her parents are even trying. It's not like I can't guess what you're gonna say right now. And John B needs to go help him, but he can't do that if he's arrested. Top you want me to not press charges? No, Just that's not what I'm saying. Press charges on your own. Topper is a little sucker. A sucker. All she gotta do is say some pretty words and bad eyes and Topper breaks falls. What, you'll go with him? I'll stay here. I don't think Sarah knows what she's doing. You promise me that. She's literally all over the place. She doesn't really have a plan. You see? Promise. This is why Keith's parents want her to get a plan because if not, you're gonna end up like Sarah. I know you're mad at me, but I got you out and I can get you to South America. My dad's gonna let us use the plane. Ward, your dad? Since we've gotten back from the island, I've done some things that I regret. I just wanna know, are we still all in? Because I am. It has been weird since we left. Hi, you reached Sarah. You know what to do. What is Rafe about to say to Topper? Right, it's tonight. Haven't heard a thing. Been calling her nothing. Do not take advice from Rafe. If you want to vent, that's one thing. But advice, absolutely not. Uh, she's playing you like a fiddle, bro. <laughs> she's been playing you since day she one. She is, though. It's she a is. Lot different now. You know, it's not. It's because she's with John B. She is not with John B. Oh, okay. Topper, come on now. You know she is. Topper may break. He may lose it. He's, he's been drinking too. Topper and alcohol and Sarah is not a good mix. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. He's going to lose it. What's he about to do? Ooh. What the? Topper. You're going to burn the house with them in it? Top. Are you crazy? You're insane. Oh my God. This is what happens when you listen to Rafe. I'm dumb. Oh my. This man's insane. That one conversation with Rafe and you've been corrupted. This is something he would, this is literally something he did when he, in the first season, he tried to smoke them out, remember? Sorry, there's a fire. What? Fire? Wait, what? Wait. Are they gonna know it's Sarah? I mean, Topper? Topper, the devil's got you, bro. <laughs> For real, like that's something evil right there. What? Did it really, did the moment call for that? Like burning the house down with them in it? But you have the nerve to want to press charges on John B because he punched you when you were down. It keeps saying that. I mean, I get that's a big deal, but also like this is way worse than anything that he's done. But you trying to burn him all alive. No, we're pressing charges against you. And I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. Like this entire season, even honestly starting last season, since last season, I was like, okay, Topper, not bad, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. But like this right here, it's, it's too much. Whoever's up there. Does not like you. That's not it. The people in town don't like him. As much as I would love to ghost my parents again, I can't. Thank you. Out of here. Can you like just like slip out the back, maybe? No. I just want you to be there, dog. I'm gonna be there. I'll meet you guys in the airship. Period. Pope's like, I'm gonna be there. That's a man. That's that's a man attitude right there. I'm sorry, JJ, you don't have reliable parents, but some of us actually have parents and we have to talk to them. We can't just do whatever. I need you to leave. I need you to go. Live your life in Guadalupe, and you can let me live mine here. 
We're not gonna do that. Okay, so War is trying to force his family to stay together. And that's the problem here. Like, why can't Rafe do his own thing? You don't have to go anywhere. He can't force you. Okay. Unless he turns you in. Please, I know Demartini would want me to do this. Not, not you bringing Denmark in it. <laughs> I'm going. I'm gonna take care of him. Period. And that's how you do it. Now I'm interested in seeing Key. I'm gonna write an essay about my experiences with the indigenous tribes in South America. And then I will use that to apply for college. That's yeah. that may be your best bet. Who are you? Hey, Kiara. Oh. Hey, come back. What? I'm not gonna hurt you. Ugh. Hey, I just want to talk to you. Ew. Don't come up to me. Who are you? What? Oh, this can go one of two ways. What? I say that Kitty Hawk's the best. Are you okay. bloody joking? <laughs> like, <laughs> this is insane. No, no we are trying mama, to mama, help mama. you, and I'm sorry, but you have to try. Really go. You don't want to. This is literally insane. Like, I'm sorry. Okay, I have words. I have words because I kind of been against Kiara this entire time just because I feel like she hasn't been listening to her parents. But I thought that on both sides, we came to some type of like compromise. You know, I thought we were talking, trying to get on even, like trying to understand each other better. You know what I'm saying? I thought that's where we were at in our relationship now. I thought we were listening now, talking, communicating. What is this? This is insane. She's being dragged away from her home. Absolutely not. Like, I don't know what they thought this was or why they thought this was smart. That's insane. Girl, keep them tears. Keep them tears. You didn't have to do this. It was not the only option. We sent her someplace where she can try and rebuild what you and your friends destroyed. You sent her to that wilderness camp? Yep. God. That's crazy. I was giving her parents the benefit of the doubt. What? Adventure therapy? ODD. Oppositional Defiant Disorder. It's consistent opposition to authority. We diagnosed her? It's very treatable with medication. Not medication. That right there, your reaction? You just confirmed my diagnosis. Girl, you just made something up. I'm sorry, but like, maybe that's a real disorder, maybe not, but also medication being the thing that fix it because she's not compliant? No. What medication is going to make you compliant? This is not a normal camp. Patients will not be allowed to contact the patients. The patients will not be able to use their phone. Patients will work okay, first of all, and polite. the parents did not do enough research on this place. I thought she was going to some type of educational place where like they would help her, like they said, rebuild what was lost. They're trying to fix whatever problem they think that she has. I thought she was going to some place where, like, she can focus on school and this and the third, build a resume, yada, 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 some type of place like that. Get a scholarship. I don't know. What is this? She's not a patient. She's not crazy. Like, beyond scared straight. Like, they send her to some type of correctional uh, facility. Be awake by 6 a.m. and asleep by 9 p.m. This is a prison. This is insane. I'm sorry. But this is, this is good. <laughs> I did say I hope they sent her away, but like, this is interesting. I don't like it, but it's interesting. When you've got a really, really, really tough choice to make, the trick is to do the thing that you'll regret the least. That's not bad advice. You'll come to it. No, he needs he needs help. You don't even know me. I'm right. Not Rafe. You're not like everyone else from the club with her. Yeah, she does not know Rafe at all because she didn't even know if this man is even alluding to. You're different. Oh, well, he's different, all right. He's you'll very right. different. A very different boy. It's all there. You doing it anyways? I mean, well, he didn't call it off. Call it off. Oh my gosh. Barry is wild. Topper, we've had enough of you. Why are you here? Why? Hey, Sarah. Not with a hey, Sarah. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the district attorney's office, please. Topper. Right, J Judge Thornton's grandson. Topper. I'd like to formally file charges, okay? Topper, are you serious? Topper has switched places with Rafe. That response, this response, it's response I gave Rafe. Topper could have let it go. After the fire, he could have let it go. But no, now you want to press charges? He's so mad right now. You did this to yourself, like you said. You knew she was a liar. You knew she was a cheater. You knew she was all of this when she dated you because she was when she, she was the same when she dated you. Nothing changed with her. Yeah, she has a nice, pretty face, and she's sweet and whatever, but she's still a liar. <laughs> she's a liar and she's a cheater. 
regardless you did this to yourself like you knew who you were like you kept coming back you kept being there for her i felt bad for you at first but now you are being petty Ooh. Oh, hey, hey, he's gonna Go. kill them he's gonna kill him oh you're going down war she never came back here she stayed in guadalupe fisherman spotted him all right they know he's alive they're all looking crazy. When two worlds collide, this is, this is interesting. That is all together like this. I'm not getting on a plane with him. No way. Well, it's his, it's his plane. It's his plane. There's no other way. All right, they get on the plane. <laughs> this is tea. We're not done. <laughs> Pope. <laughs> you do anything to me. Anything. I swear to God, I'll find you. I'll send, we'll send Pope on you. We'll send Pope channel you. All of it is yours, everything here. Wow. It's your son. You're the man now. Now he's going to think that what he did was right. <laughs> you awarded him after he did such a crazy thing. Shit, Rafe. Look like you got a story to tell. Man, that would have been some tea if Rafe got on that plane also. JJ be doing the most extra stuff, acting like it's a shortcut, sir. You could have just went down the two steps that were left. And you're gonna break into this house with all these girls? What are you doing in here? Hi there. Uh, evening, miss. Uh, no, they're all up. But I'm just looking for someone. I'm looking, at, looking for me. Girl, get up. You see me over here struggling. Y'all tried to make this a cute little moment. Me? Like, really? <laughs> I'm sorry. No. <laughs> that wasn't giving what I thought it was gonna give. You know, I'm looking for me. <laughs> you see me over here struggling. Talking about some me. I wanna say I'm sorry. Can we go? Oh, I'm supposed to be happy about this. Oh, yay, JJ and Key. That's good. Thank you, baby. God bless you. Stop it, Ward. Sarah probably looking at this man like, you ain't never talked about God ever before. I know you won't believe it, but you have nothing to worry about for me. We're not worried you're dead, man. For what it's worth, I'm glad your father's alive. Ward, you should never said that. Why would you say that? Nah, I'm glad your father's alive. How dare you? You know what? I'm glad that he didn't actually die when I pushed him off the boat. A day is right up river, and then all that is left is a single track to the jungle. You know what? I was thinking these last two episodes been kind of good, and I know why. Because we have not been seeing a lot of Big John. That is exactly why. This, this is the map we're following. <laughs> you sure he doesn't know anything? Not for me. Honestly, I don't even know what we're talking about. And had a prefer. So you are up, idiot. You should be over finding gold, bozo. Like you got us here, like you said you would. Now go on to Guadalupe. You're in over your you head. You all are. I can help. Let me help, please. No. We don't need your help, Ward. Ward just thinks that he has it all together. Like we didn't mean they're in over their heads. He said the same thing to Rafe. You're in a more stickier situation than any of us. Okay. Big John is so old, crusty, and dusty. I know he hasn't taken a shower in days. I know he hasn't. It doesn't look like he has. Carlos is not letting this man. He is not letting this man bathe. Sit down! <laughs> I'm sorry. He too old for this. Go sit down somewhere. Retire after this. Retire. Once you get back to the OBX, I don't want to hear anything about gold. Wait, why are y'all running? Do they know your face? Things matter right behind us. They're after us. We gotta think of a plan. I mean, I guess they may have remember our faces. Oh, yes, it is. Is he here too? Yes, Pope is here. Who the hell is here? What did I tell you? It doesn't matter, okay? It's a collective thing. Um, no. What do you mean? You were two seconds away from having your head chopped off. So, yes, I came here with my friends to rescue you. How about a thank you, idiot? Pope, you know what? Pope, you should have kept that. He getting on my nerves. And he already paid. So we can go. He is in. Carlos? Oh, yeah. Award. Award. I mean, well. Oh, Big John. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, Big John? Hey, hold on. You, I you son of a bitch. You have every right to be upset. Ah. Ward, you can't even walk. Oh, this is a nice family vacay. Ward has tried to kill three people on this <laughs> 
War is crazy. I'm sorry. War is wild. This man has tried to kill John B. He's tried to kill Sarah. A. He's tried to kill Big John. Almost succeeded in killing Big John. Almost succeeded in killing all three of them. Like <laughs> War right now. He is. He's a real menace. I used to call Rafe a menace, but like War is. He's something different. <laughs> she ain't done the deep dive like we have. No. And I don't trust anyone. The last name of Cameron. Really? That's his wife. I think. I'm not sure what they're, where they're at anymore. No, not just you and me. No, you don't get to call the shots here. You would have been dead if we didn't show up. It's not just you and me. It's you, me, and Sarah, like I said. You were strangling me? I'll regret that for the rest of my life. Some good did come of it, though. What? I've changed, Sarah. Oh. Well, I'm glad that I was the catalyst for your transformation, for your change. I don't trust him. I actually do trust him. I actually do believe that, you know, what he's saying is true. Yeah, my dad doesn't necessarily trust you either. Yeah, I don't blame him. Not after what my dad did to him. But that was your dad, not me. I didn't try to kill you. I'm as much a victim as you. And you're still an idiot. Nothing makes you different from him. If anything, Ward is better because he doesn't look goofy doing half of the stuff that you be doing. Jumping out of windows and whatnot, like, sit down. The gold would only go to one who was worthy. And it's not Big John. What? What? To who? I can't believe it. I said I trust this man. I really thought that he had no alter alternative, ulterior motive. Cause like what? You don't need gold. So what? I'm not gonna be able to make it up that mountain. If I see Singh come through here, I'll send up a player. Let you all know he's coming. At least I can help. I don't trust him. Don't even think about trying anything, Ward. Or what, Big John? What you gonna do? What power do you have? I'm just trying to take care of my daughter, John. What are you doing with your son? Ooh, dragging him through the mud and the dirt and the fire. That's all he's doing with his son. Trash. Shut up. JJ is he working with Singh? Sing Let me find out War is in connection with Singh. Come on, boy. You're both slowing me down. We're losing light. Then go by yourself. Feels his daughter spying on you. You think she's spying on you? <laughs> I see you at the top. All right, bye. You literally could have did this by yourself then. If you, if we're slowing you down that much, you should have stayed where you were at. You should have rung no bells and called me back nowhere. <laughs> I hope Big John finds nothing. I hope this is an empty trail and he gets no gold. We did it, boy. There she blows. At this point, I'd rather War come in here and get the gold over Big John because he getting on my last nerves. No mistakes. Come on, Earth, hurry up. Earth, Earth, Earth. Earth okay, yes. okay. Yes. Earth, Earth. No mistakes. Shut up. Patience. Yeah. For you. That's the word for you. What does it mean? Really? I'm still working it out. No, you're not. You don't want to say it out loud. What are you doing? Bozo. This is about me, isn't it? What does it say? Hey, look at me. You're being a child right now. Well, let me keep my secrets to myself. Just say it. You do best to toss over your gun now. Idiot. I'm okay. <laughs> this man got on his hat. This man geared up at everything. <laughs> I'm right here, Sarah. As he betrays him. <laughs> he got a uniform and everything. Make your choice, John. John. Tell him. <laughs> Not war. Even war. What the? Sarah? You're not gonna shoot your own. This is the second time your child has pointed a gun at you. Oh, now. now you trust us? I mean, now you trust me? Bitch, John, I don't need your trust. I don't need your validation. I don't need your approval. I don't need none of that. Maybe El Dorado is in a cave. No, it's probably not a good time to say this, but you know the No Love Club? I quit. What? What? <laughs> I wasn't expecting this so soon, but I'm so glad because I was not trying to wait another season to see that ship sail. Can't find anything. You guys find something? A little bit of love. Hey, <laughs> but food and patient secret needs not light to see. That's it? I'll be okay. I'll see you when you get back. What if he dies? Maybe this isn't El Dorado. Maybe my dad was wrong. You, no, you, yeah, he's turn the lights off. I think that they have to turn off the light. The true and patient, patient. secret. 
doesn't need light. It's not light to see. Sarah. It's okay, we can relight it. Home. Honestly, I don't know what this story is anymore. Like, this is some, like, I don't know. We're in caves. This is some journey to the center of the earth, journey to the mysterious island type thing. Is that gold? We did it. We found it. Wow. Kind of crazy. Kind of amazing. Can't lie. <laughs> After everything we've been through, I actually confess. <laughs> It'd be different if we would like trying to find this for three seasons. Not after everything we've been through. So you're going full kook? <laughs> you already kook? You're already a kook? I don't get it. Like, y'all love being pokes, but y'all want to be kooks that badly? I don't get it, but okay. What happens to the pride of the pokes? You kill us, I'll make sure this thing goes. Dang! This man has dynamite? Well, I'm kind of mad that we destroyed it, but Big John wanted to be a good dad for once, so. It's not that it's destroyed, but the path is probably gone now and all the extra stuff. So sweet. Who are you? You know? That. Put the gun down. Shut up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Live happily ever after with your son and my daughter. Sorry, John, I don't think I can allow that. <laughs> oh, he's been reborn. Yeah, he was reborn. This man, yeah, you didn't been to no church, you didn't read no Bible, you ain't been reborn. You just went back to your same old ways. You're supposed to be dead. I think I liked you better that way. Well, this is who this is who Ward is, y'all. So he is our final villain after all. But hey, I'm all for a new life in Christ, but there was no Jesus in this reborn. <laughs> Do it. Couldn't do what? Well, I can. Who are you? You go first. Ward's gonna sacrifice himself. Oh my gosh. I'm sure he's gonna come back alive next season, y'all. So don't even fret. He just got a little broken back. He's fine. Is Big John gonna die also? How poetic. The death of the dads. It's a dad burial. Burial? You are the best son any man could hope for. You can tell me when we get home, okay? He's dying, right? Because this scene is too extra for him not to die. I'll see you at home, kid. Man, this is sad. I didn't like Big John, but this is still sad. Aw, poor John. At least he got to say goodbye this time. Sometimes the biggest villains are also unexpected heroes. So we um bought these two back just to kill him in the end. But idiot should have stayed in Guadalupe. Poor kids. All because of this gold. This is idiocracy. Greed. That's a great Bible verse. I could. We're centuries of conquistadors, explorers, and admirals. Are they being acknowledged? We come together to celebrate these teams. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, stay bitter, top. Keith's saving turtles. Pope's going away to school, and JJ bought the charter boat. So they all got paid. I need partners, and you all were first on my list. <laughs> what? So this is their job now. <laughs> we have a mystery, guys. A centuries long quest. These are the guys with the job. Edward Teach. I feel like I heard that name before, but Blackbeard. Blackbeard. God damn. <laughs> Was Blackbeard a weird, a real pirate? I don't be knowing real pirates from fake pirates. Okay. Um, where to start? Where to start? When we have a mystery, we have some type of quest for Camelot. When we have some type of quest, some type of journey. Some type of whatever we we they're now the guys they're now our top archaeologists like they're gonna go out and they're gonna solve the case for the missing gold and uh, this then the third it's like <laughs> why are they the guys I'm sorry yeah they they put a lot of work okay first of all they didn't solve anything really they used what Big John had the 20 years of research that Big John did. 
that's what they used. That's what they did. That's how they were able to figure this out. You know, Big John was close. He just, you know, almost died when it came down to it. They didn't do anything themselves. It was mostly Big John's work. And Big John really the one who figured all this stuff out. Big John read this, like, you know what I mean? Somehow we got Pope involved and his family lineage involved. But other than that, like, we didn't really do anything. Out of the uh, out of everyone, Pope was the real one who really helped besides Big John, right? Because it was his family lineage. He had the key and whatnot. Like, he helped a lot. But why are they like, oh, yeah, I have this manuscript. Let me go talk to the guys. Like, they didn't really do anything for real. But whatever. So I guess they're all living the kook life now. Key saving turtles. This is interesting. I I don't re- I don't re- I don't know when this show took this twist, took this turn. Like I feel like after the first season, like I don't feel like they knew exactly what they were gonna do with the show. I feel like because we went on a, a journey, an adventure, and a treasure hunt the first time, they're like, okay, let's keep going on these treasure hunts. But honestly, I don't know. I just didn't see it going in this route. When did it go into this mysterious journey to the mysterious island type route where we, you know. I don't know. I didn't think it was going to give that. I don't know. I don't know when we decided to go in this direction. And now they're going on the case of some Blackbeard treasure, I guess. Like, what? I don't know with this route with the show. I don't feel like... Honestly, I felt like this could have been the last season when we ended it. Like, why are we going on another journey? Why are we going on another hunt? We went on this hunt the first place because Big John was gone. He disappeared, died on a treasure hunt. So it only makes sense to pick up where he left off. Now what are we doing? Now we're just like, oh yeah, we are, we are treasure hunters, we are archaeologists, we are the man for the job. You got a mystery, we're here to solve it, type thing. Who are they, who, who y'all think y'all are? Y'all not freaking the Scooby gang, Mystery Inc. Like, <laughs> you know, this season was, it took a different turn completely. It went in a, a different direction, had an entirely different feel than any other season. For better or for worse, you know, Big John and Ward are dead, officially, so they say. We bought Big John back for no reason, just to um, kill him off. Same with Ward. I'm going to watch the next season when it come out, but, like, I'm just going to watch it. I'm not, like, excited about it. If Is it renewed for another season? You know, it was cool. This was the worst of the seasons. <laughs> I'm going to say it like that. It, it's just. But I am glad that we got go after this. This is That's all I wanted. That's what I said. I said I just wanted them to find gold and be able to have gold. All right? That's all I wanted. They got the gold from El Dorado. Now we're going on some other mission. I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think about this season. Yeah, I guess they're all kooks now, living a kook life when they were pogues for life, right? Y'all was so hell-bent on being a pogues, but you want to be kooks so bad too? Like, which one is it? Like, do you hate kooks or you just hate that you're broke? Like, <laughs> I don't get it. Because the way y'all act like it, y'all act like y'all don't not trying to be part of the kooks at all because they act differently this than third, but you're also trying to go full kooks. So which one is it? I don't know. Anywho, that's my thoughts. It's been a long few months. We've been watching Outer Banks. We're done. I'm done. Outer Banks. That's a wrap. It's Girl Kia J. Bye.